Welcome back to New Views with Ariel New. My name is Ariel New, and today I'm going to take you guys through a meditation. And this is basically what I do in my meditations when I'm trying to resolve, get inspired, or gain some clarity with situations that are currently happening in my life. The meditation has two parts. The first part, we're going to be meditating on a situation that more so only involves us that we're either trying to get gain some clarity on or just feel better about and the second part we'll be looking at a situation where it involves us and other people either an individual or group you can be sitting standing slowly moving lying down whatever you like just remember that the point especially in the beginning as we're breathing and settling in is for you to get to this connected but light detached state you're in the balance you're in the middle you're in the homostasis of everything so you're hypnotized by yourself you're in this flow fluid state this is also why i like to keep my eyes both open and closed when it starts to feel strained if it's closing if you're closing for too long you start to overthink or if you're opening your eyes and you're starting to get distracted then gently close it allow yourself to flow so let's start to get into it now in the beginning i'm just breathing Relaxing the physical state first, when we relax the body, when we are intentional and really conscious with the body, naturally our thoughts and emotions calm down too. It's okay if thoughts come in and out, we allow it, we don't resist it, but we also don't follow it, we don't chase it. We acknowledge it and then we let it go. just really tune back into ourselves. We let go of everything for now. We'll get into the active parts of it soon, but for now we just let it all go. We're just getting into it with our body and relaxing. The energy we want to be in is relaxed and alert. We're conscious, we're present, but our muscles are relaxed. This is why I like to look outside sometimes too, whether it's nature or city. slow movements in my surroundings or still still things to look at allows me to come back to this balanced state Once I am relaxed and balanced now, my mind, body, spirit is here and now. I'm conscious, I'm present. 
my muscles are calm. Then I start tuning into just things that are happening in my life right now. Things are in my consciousness right now. And normally, many things starts to flood in again. But because I'm relaxed, I'm alert and relaxed. I'm not in the same state as before. I'm not reactive with it. They're coming in and I'm just allowing. I'm just dancing with all the things that are going on in my life and my consciousness right now. It's fine. Just let them come. I'm just allowing all of them to just be there in my consciousness. They're just all there. And I'm not forcing anything, I'm not pushing anything, and I'm not fearful or worried or concerned. They're just there, all dancing around. And at this point, I can be curious. I'm more curious. I'm curious, but I'm intentional with wanting to resolve and feel good about these things that are going on. Resolve, feel good, and feel certain and clear. And we don't have to get through all of them in this single meditation today. But we can go through one or two or three of them. It's up to us. Normally, I let the biggest things come in first. And they'll naturally come, of course. And we keep breathing. We keep staying connected with our body so that we can continue to remain calm and alert at the same time. Because as we start to let things in, and if we're focusing on the biggest things, these biggest things, tend to make us feel anxious and reactive. So we want to be mindful that we're actively breathing so we can fully face these things with curiosity and openness and get something from it. So first, let's bring one situation into our consciousness that doesn't involve other people. Or maybe it might have some involvement, but the any tension or confusion or uncomfortableness, it's within us. It's something that we're trying to figure out ourselves. The tension and the struggle isn't really with anyone that's involved or there's no one involved. It's just something we are figuring out or wanting to get to a place of confidence, confidence and comfort ourselves with it. So let's think of a situation or just let one come in. It's already there. multiple things are coming in, it's okay. Let them just be floating there, floating around in our consciousness. No push or force, but naturally let the one that is coming through the most be the one you want to be present with. And if there are maybe two or three, you can kind of dance around them Feel into yourself and see if you have the ability to because sometimes when there's two, we can kind of dance to and from each of them and that actually helps us stay light about it because the more, the more intense the situation is, the more our anxiety might want to 
come back in. So maybe when we lightly bounce from one to the other, it helps us stay balanced and relax and be helps us stay curious, be able to go through this with curiosity and lightness. But not too many. We want to stay present. Let those, let the one or two situations now be clear in your consciousness. Allow yourself to look at them fully. Don't be scared. Don't be reactive. Don't be anxious. Just see it for what it is. Now ask yourself, what do I want? The situation, what do I want? Just be real with yourself, what do I want? What is the highest outcome I want from the situation? Allow yourself to really feel into that highest outcome not from a place of force or push or worry or concern, in a feel-good way. The highest outcome if it happens. What do I want? Even if you're more so confused about the situation, you're not sure this or that, let go of the how. Just focus on when the situation is resolved or aligned and you're feeling good and confident with it. What is it? What do I want? Really feel into it. Use your senses to experience the details of it. As you have the vision clear, you feel good about it, you have felt through the details of the vision, you put yourself in the end, you feel good about it. Now you gently face and be open to your current points of confusion or resistance. thing is, when you continue to focus on the vision and really feel through the details of the highest outcome with no fear, no judgment, no push or pull or force, a lot of
lot of times the resistance and the confusion has already melted away. But if there are still areas of resistance or fear or confusion, be gentle with it. Ask yourself why. ask ourselves why, then we get clear on whether it is apprehension of taking next steps that we already know to take, or we're confused about the next steps, or we're feel fearful of the next steps. If it's confusion about the next steps, breathe some more first from head to toe. Give it some time and space. vision? Have we felt it? Do we know the details? Then are there any actions we can take that will lead us to the end vision? Do actions come to mind naturally? And we ask ourselves this. And if no answers come to mind right away, ask it out loud. Intend for it. vision, my highest outcome for the situation is this. I have envisioned and felt into the details of this vision. And I intend for inspired actions that's going to take me to my vision with the most ease and flow to come to me naturally. I intend for this. I intend for this. Allow ideas and thoughts to just come naturally. Dance with any ideas. There's no need to set them in stone any good ideas just pin them be curious and it's okay if there's still some uncertainty or unclarity but set that intention again say thank you thank you 
for the incoming thoughts and ideas and I intend for the ideas, thoughts and solutions to come through even clearer and much easier and I will know what to do. I trust and I have faith. <clears throat> And if any clear ideas and thoughts do come through, feel them, get excited. No fear, no reactiveness, also no force. We're not going to start to get agitated. We're not going to start to be in a rush. No. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited. I'm also going to allow myself to simmer through these ideas some more now so I can blend the spiritual and the practical. Thank you that these ideas are coming into my consciousness, still in my spirit. For me to actualize and physicalize it, I'm going to simmer so I can blend these new ideas into what I am already doing physically and actively with ease and flow. I'm not going to rush. I'm also not going to lean into apathy and fear. I am now confident and intentional with my ideas and I'm excited. And I'll just sit with it throughout the day. So when I do take action, it's going to come out with clarity, efficiency, concisiveness, and this energy of excitement and confidence I'm feeling now will naturally flow through my actions as well. I'm excited, thank you. Let's breathe some more, breathe some more. fresh air into our minds and our hearts again. And next, we're going to bring a situation in mind that involves others. One other individual or multiple individuals. Something we are unclear about in conflict with hesitant, suspicious, tangled, confused, anything that we don't want. Let's bring a situation in mind that involves another where we have to solution for something. We have to untangle something. We want to feel good about something. We want to feel confident about something. We want to love ourselves and we want to resolve whatever it is with the other. Whether that is resolution or boundary setting or letting go, whatever it is, we're gonna bring a situation into mind. Again, gently, lightly. It's floating around in our consciousness. Again, maybe a number of situations come to mind. Allow, breathe, but let that one that's coming in through the most, let it come through. We're going to hold it gently and stay present with it and again, in our energy, we face it fully. We're not triggered by it, we're not reactive with it, we're also not only looking at parts of it, we're looking at it in completion, holistically. a few moments now to 
continue to breathe deeply as we reflect on the situation holistically. In this time and space right now, it's a safe space. So we're going to allow ourselves to feel and think and be real about it all with no shame or blame. If we feel shame or blame, we feel it to understand it, but we're not going to judge it or be reactive with it. We just allow all the true, real thoughts of the situation come through, including how we think and feel about the situation and about the individuals involved, and also how we think they think and feel about the situation and us. Just take a few moments to simmer through all of this. and let go and stay present with your reflection gently though we're dancing we're being curious we're analyzing with curiosity and realness tendencies go breathe if we're consciously breathing and dancing around it with curiosity holding it in our presence acknowledging our true thoughts and emotions of the situation and the other or others and acknowledging what we felt from them we're being real about what we're feeling and thinking from their end too without the reactive tendencies Then we will start to see that us and them, me and them, it's interconnected. Our energies are influencing each other. And our energy is our thoughts, our emotions, our intentions, and our state of being. being real with our thoughts and emotions of the situation and what we're feeling from them and what we're feeling from ourselves it's likely true it's likely true we can accept it we acknowledge it and we accept it but we're not blaming or shaming even if the situation isn't what we desire for the future we're acknowledging and accepting it We do this we can start to see that any negativity or 
confusion or misunderstanding or judgment we're feeling from others. It's a combination of how we are honing, exuding, and presenting our own energy in front of them. And also, it's a reflection of where they are currently at in their own places in life, their own blend of their current energy, how they're thinking, feeling, intending, and physical state of being. They're on their own path. So again, we're realizing the more we get real, we allow and we get real with what's happening with how we're thinking and feeling about the situation, even with the negativity, even with any negativity, and how we think they are thinking and feeling about the situation. We're real with it. When we allow for it without reactiveness, then we can see that whatever is going on, it's a mix of how we are presenting and working with our own energy and how they are reacting and behaving from our energy and also from where they're currently at in their life. It's interconnected. Once we see this clearly, once we know this, once we feel this, we're gonna continue to breathe, <clears throat> breathe. No triggers, just curiosity and yay, let's start to be grateful. We're getting somewhere. ourselves. If I want to resolve the situation, or if it's more so just future experiences with these individuals, I want things to be different. And I know that it has been my own energy influencing the experiences and my energy is my thoughts, my emotions, my intentions, and my physical state of being. My live thoughts, emotions, intentions, and physical state of being. How can I do things differently next time? something to do with I'm going to decide and be intentional about what I want to experience with these individuals and I'm going to show it through my live energy my ability to stay clear with my own thoughts and emotions and intentions my ability to regulate my body live, my own commitment to keep me myself confident and composed through live regulation. And through this meditation, I can already see when I regulate my physical body and naturally regulates my thoughts and emotions. So I'm going to focus on active breathing throughout the conversations, throughout the interaction. And remaining in my intention and confidence. But because I can see that we are interconnected and it's both my energy and their energy, whether they are conscious of it or not, 
I am aware that they react to me based on the energy I'm giving them. So if it's something I want to show or share, it's up to me to communicate in a way where I am direct and late about it. Alignment and attraction is not through push or pull. It's through natural magnetism through flow. So even if I'm delivering and communicating things with more intention and confidence, I'm going to watch for reactiveness and force in my energy. I'm also going to be confident and say exactly how I feel and what I want to say. I don't need to overshare. I remember mastery of energy is intention, breathing, and balance. I will set my intentions and sometimes the intentions will come in the moment. I am breathing, I am regulating my physical body so I can always tune into myself anytime, any moment. When I start to feel reactive, I start to feel ungrounded, I tune in. And if I have a point, I state it. If something I don't like happens, I'm okay with it. I'm gonna breathe some more and relax into it. Just remembering intention, breathing, and balance. Just remembering its energy influences. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Please let me know in the comments below what you think. Let me know if you had any realizations, revelations, how you feel now. And if you have enjoyed this or enjoy my content, but you have a hard time understanding yourself, really understanding your thoughts, emotions, and the way that you express, you have a hard time understanding yourself and you have a hard time presenting yourself in front of others in the way that you would like. I recommend getting personal coaching with me, one-on-one -on -one energy coaching with me. It's in the description below. You can also jump on my weekly live streams on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. That's it for today. I hope you guys are feeling great. Remember, when we're in doubt, we just got to see things from a new view. We just got to see things from a new view. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.